Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Daryl Intense. I'm on 200 acres of pristine, nobody's here. And uh, headed up, uh, actually I'm, I'm headed up into those hills, back into a campsite uh, tonight, trying out my, uh, my new backpacking wood stove. And uh, I'm staying under a tarp tonight. Gonna make, uh, make a shelter out of a tarp and see how this shelter in place, we're taking shelter in place to a whole new level. So uh, that's what we got going. I'm going to show you the ride and uh, taking a four-wheeler back in there because we've got quite a way we're going. Okay, we're here at the campsite, and uh, we're gonna put up the shelter. I mean, these two trees are perfect. Uh, so we're gonna set up the shelter uh, right there. What I've done is I have this paracord, and I've tied it around that tree, and now I'm running it over here. And this is where I'm going to slide the shelter along the top. Uh, of the of the ridge line and then secure it over on this other tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie just a loop knot on this end and try and catch the catch the loop knot with uh, with this uh, bungee cord. Let's see if that'll hold it tight. That may 
be a good idea. It may not be a good idea. But at least it gets us started. Think we got some room? So I'm using these uh, binder clips as uh, the ties to hold down the I think what I'm going to do is maybe about split the difference between the bungee cord, uh, the, uh, the between the two grommets. So there's a little bit of a of an air intake. Okay. What's the big deal? All right, got the stove pipe in, getting ready to uh, get ready to fire up the stove and see if she works. We got a little rain coming down, but uh, nothing too bad. See if we can take the chill off inside the tent. 36 degrees right now is the temperature. Well, the stove is working. I'll tell you what, it's uh, the draft. The draw is working beautifully. I had the door wide open and uh, no smoke coming into the tent at all. So it's uh, it's really doing exactly as I had hoped with the draw and uh, that secondary burn chamber. And uh, yeah, it's and it's already warming up in this tent. It's not going to take a whole lot. Uh, I've got a uh, thermometer that I'm going to put on the wall and uh, or hang from the ridge uh, line, and uh, we'll be able to monitor it and see how it's working. But so far, so good. I'm going to set up a cot and kind of arrange my furniture in here and move my wood pile and then I'm going to start dinner. Tonight, fettuccine alfredo with chicken and for dessert, apple pie. Stick around. By the way, if you like this, come on, click that thumbs up like button and subscribe to the channel for crying out loud. Yeah, so the, the you can see the flame is drawing to the back of the box, which was exactly what I wanted by putting that secondary burn chamber. I think it's I think it's working. I've got the door wide open. I'm not even, not even using the door. And with the door wide open, it's, uh, it's drawn great. No smoke in the in the tent uh, in the uh, 
in the shelter at all. I love it. Hey guys, how's it going? We are uh, we are here. I'm trying to. I can't check my clock and see what time it is. I'm guessing 9:30, probably 9:15, 9:30 at night. Um, it's uh, it's 47, 48 degrees inside the tent. I think it's right around 32 degrees outside the tent. So this little wood stove is working great, and there's no smoke in here. This has been going for about two hours, um, and and honestly, it's raining. It's been raining all day. It was snowing earlier today. The, the wood is completely saturated, and we still uh, have fire going. And the smoke draw is, uh, is working exactly as I had hoped, where I feed it from the, from the what that would be the front side. The, uh, the air draw, then, is pulling it all the way to the back because I put a shelf in there, as you recall. It goes about three, three quarters of the way back, and then that, uh, the draft then takes it right on up. So my, uh, my uh, water, as you can see, is steaming and uh, will be boiling shortly. Uh, for dinner tonight, I have Nor Fettuccine Alfredo, and uh, I have taken some, uh, some chicken in a pouch, uh, all white meat, and put that in here as well. So uh, what I'll do is uh, it, it calls for seven minutes uh, if you were cooking this on a stovetop, but because of the nature of the way that I'm doing it, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in this koozie after I put the boiling water. I want rolling boiling water uh, into the uh, into the pouch. Now, for the record, it calls for two cups of water, but if you were cooking this on a range, you would boil off. Uh, it would steam off a half a cup during the cooking process. So rather than putting two cups in, I'm actually putting a cup and a half in. Uh, for the fettuccine alfredo with chicken and uh, I'm gonna stick it I'm gonna fill it with the with the water fold it over stick it in this koozie and uh, it calls for being cooked for seven minutes but again that's if it's completely on a stovetop the whole time with the nature of what I'm doing I'm gonna put it in here for uh, for twice as long 14 15 minutes and uh, we'll see uh, we'll see how it is so just as soon as my water boils that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reconstitute uh, this dehydrated product, and uh, as I go to eat it, then I'll, uh, I'll pull you back up, okay? All right, look at that. The water's boiling on the wood stove. I love it. Now I'm going to make my fettuccine Alfredo. I just didn't want you to miss this. Okay, well, while I've been waiting for the water to boil, uh, I've gone ahead and started preparing the apple pie. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to take the aluminum foil. Is I've got two Granny Smith apples. I'll, I'll put the uh, I'll tell you what I'll put the uh, recipe down in the description, okay? But what I've got here is some cornstarch, and I've got some. Uh, raisins and brown sugar and granulated sugar and a little bit of butter and uh, th that those are the wet ingredients right and then on top of that I've got the dry ingredients and again I'll uh, I'll put this whole thing on uh, in the description link uh, down below okay but we're going to have, when this thing's done, in about 20 minutes, we're going to have ourselves an apple pie. Uh, dry oats, regular cooking flour, butter, brown sugar, cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon, raisins. Just give me a pardon you in your mouth. I'm going to wrap it with this foil, and then I'm going to wrap it again with another piece of foil, and I'm going to put it on my stove for 15 minutes, and uh, in 15 minutes, that will all melt together, and it will be heavenly. I'll uh, bring you back at that point, okay? All right, well, we've got, uh, we've got the apple pie going on the wood stove. We've got the fettuccine Alfredo with chicken, and, uh, yeah, I just bought... Uh, you know, just some store box uh, cooked, already pre-cooked chicken. 
uh, breast meat and uh, put that uh, put that in and I've let it set here's the thing I've let it set in here well, I poured the boiling water uh, into it and uh, it says it's to cook for seven minutes I've let it cook for 15 minutes and it's still not quite it's still not quite done but you know what on a cold night, it tastes really good. So I'm looking at the, it's uh, 64 degrees in the tent, and I like that. I'll, I'll tell you what, my wood stove works. I'm happy, I'm very happy. Less than 50 bucks for the whole thing, though. So uh, yeah, it's working. It's working. So once the apple pie gets done, I'll uh, I'll pull that off the stove and. Uh, I'll let you take a look at that. In the meantime, I'm going to grab something to eat. It's like, it's like 36 degrees outside, and it's 64 inside the tent. I like it. I like it. 10, 27 at night, and uh, yeah. Wish you were here. Well, what am I talking about? You're right there for crying out loud. We got ourselves an apple pie. It's got raisins. It's got oatmeal. It's got brown sugar. It's got cinnamon. It's got cornstarch. That's what thickened it up there. Got a little flour in it. Brown sugar. Granular sugar. Oh, yeah. A whole lot of cinnamon. I'm going to put the... Uh, I'll put the uh, ingredients of the recipe uh, in the description, and uh, then you can have it. Well, let me see if it tastes as good as it looks. Mm, it's hot. But it's good. Wow. Apple pie on a cold night in a tent that's 70 degrees. It's like 30, 34, 33 degrees outside. It's pushing 11 o'clock at night. I'm going to kill this bad boy and then I'm going to bed and... Uh, I'll uh, I'll get you up in time in the morning to uh, get some uh, get some coffee. All right. I don't think we're going to see the big show. I don't think there's going to be a sunrise in the morning, uh, only because the the the, uh, the rain is supposed to continue. It's supposed to snow. Actually, turn to snow. Uh, they're calling for uh, anywhere from an inch to three inches by morning. So we'll wake up, share a cup of coffee together, and see what we've got. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish my meal. That's good. That's real good. Well, good morning. It is uh, about 5 till 6, and uh, we got some snow. And I don't mean we got a little bit of snow. I mean we got some snow. And uh, the tent is sagging because of the weight uh, from the snow. In fact, it feels more like a sleet uh, on, the, on the top of a tent than a snow, so... I'm going to get up and I'm going to take a look at it and knock it off and show it to you and um, and then I'm going to make some coffee. Sound good? Well, the fire, we burned up all the firewood and the wood was uh, really wet. So I had brought my heater buddy and uh, that uh, this morning we're turning that on just to take the chill out of the air. But I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if you can see very well how the tent is sagging, and the, the reason it's sagging is the weight of the snow that's uh, that's fallen on it. So uh, we'll, we'll take a look. Uh, we're going to get around, and uh, we're going to start our day. But the ridge line is still, I don't know if you can see it very well, but the ridge line is still holding just fine. And, uh, and right underneath that heater, buddy, it's 62 degrees.
pretty good amount of space in there. About four and a half, maybe five feet. No, nah, probably four and a half feet uh, height. But a lot of a lot of room side to side, probably. I'm guessing ten feet, probably. At least minimum ten feet. Threw a little carpet runner down, and uh, that worked out pretty nice. Uh, just a place to put my dry stuff. But yeah, hey, it works. Had a little pretty good snow load on there. Had some sagging going on through the night, but all in all, haven't adjusted a thing haven't moved any tent stakes she's still standing all right we're gonna pack this thing up and head back appreciate you watching this morning if you've enjoyed the uh if you've enjoyed the video snap that like button if you would and if you want to follow me on all of my excursions i'd love for you to join me just click the subscribe button always looking for subscribers and if you click the bell next to the subscribe button it'll notify you every time that i post a new video thanks for watching God bless.